Good morning, this is Dolphas again. And I'm excited to show you the Harveston Park, see what's going on. And there's so much for you to see out here and very excited to introduce you to this place because it's very hidden. And uh, I call this the gem because not too many people know about this place. We're gonna walk around. Harveston Lake Park is located in Temecula. This lake is famous to the residents but unknown to the travelers. You are probably be wondering what is so special about this recreation. It is simple. The place is similar to Duck Pond but larger. If you have not watched the Temecula Duck Pond, please do so after this. The size of the park is 17 acres. If you enjoy fishing, be active, and watching beautiful scenery. Most people use live worms for bait. If you have any other techniques, please experiment. Who knows the process might work. Harvesting is the perfect spot for you. Do not worry about parking. It is free. Leave your worries behind. Play hard like there's no tomorrow. Please be advised. Bring your fishing license because you might be sighted and we don't want that. Our main focus is having quality time for yourself and with your family. Tourists who came to visit are known to return repeatedly. Observe it for yourself to experience a delightful day. Who does not want to see the ducks wander free? The turtles are everywhere roaming around. Please do not feed the ducks because when it consumes human food, these creatures get aggressive, creates overpopulations. Question? Please see the staff. They will be more than happy to assist you. The biggest attraction is the boat rides. I highly suggest setting up an appointment before coming here to avoid any confusion. If you want to bring your friends, families along, book a table and benches to enjoy a picnic. If you have a girlfriend or boyfriend that is dear to you, this is a great way to propose a marriage. I observed a wedding and sat down and watched the ceremonies even though I was not part of the guest. If you have anyone having an upcoming birthday, or any other special occasion, please tell them about the Harveston Park and show this video. There is always something for everyone to see. If you have interest in sports and you don't want to practice, practice here. By the end of the day, you will develop new skills and be more knowledgeable about the game. It's a little gloomy today. It rained last night, but it's gonna be uh, fun. At least the rain stopped. Like the rain anyway, it doesn't matter. It's a Saturday. It's really, really nice today. And I really, really like this weather. <laughs> Not too hot, not too cold, just right. <laughs> it's very relaxed. If you like to work out, this is a good place to uh, go to come here. I mean, if you like to walk around and uh, get some fresh air, this is one way to do it. <laughs> this is a nice setup. Then we go interview the lady to see what she's trying to sell or maybe renting. 
Well, let's find out. Please take a moment to enjoy this view. Uh, what's your name? Trisha, hi. Can you tell me what you sell? Sparrows Picnic Company. You can find us on Instagram. And uh, we can just do any special picnic for any occasion, for proposals, for just a mommy-daddy day away from the kids uh, for two hours. And we set up all the decor for you. You bring your own food, and then we clean up all the mess, and you get to go on and enjoy your day. Uh, I will put this on YouTube on the, on the description below okay. if you want to get with her. And um, you know, so she, you, know, you can set up an appointment with her. Hey, it's a good place to do it, right here. Hi, take a look at our little teepee setup with the turquoise uh, decor, and you can customize it to your own colors. And we also do home and big celebrations. So graduation is coming up. If you wanted to do a graduation, we're happy to book with you. If you want to spend time, quality time with your kids, the playground here is pretty big, and so many slides. They, I think they rebuilt this place. This place is real nice. It's just really, really peaceful. I'm having so much fun just walking around. <laughs> My mind is all clogged up with problems and shit. But now as I'm all like relaxed. Look, I don't even have to wear my sunglasses because the weather's like uh, beautiful right now. I've decided to take the boat right by myself, but before I do, let's take a look at it. It's going to be all manual. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a great time. Uh, this man here works at the boat ride, and I'm going to take the boat. Anyway, tell me about your place and how long you had this now. Well, it's a beautiful little joint. I've been here for uh, going on uh, like maybe 17 years. Uh, seemed like it was just yesterday. <laughs> it's a beautiful little spot. Um, boats hold up to six, seven, maybe eight people, depending. Uh, everything's uh, people powered, no noise, no pollution, just all good times and good exercise. Um, just a really nice spot. You really have to come looking for it. Uh, it's you know uh, you, you'll miss it if you don't look. And uh, ask me some questions. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how much how much is this stuff? Uh, do you get military discounts? <laughs> um, the, bait, the, the rates vary, it just depends. Uh, a full boatload is uh, six people, that's 30 for half an hour, 50 for a full hour. Uh, less people, less money. Um, there's a lot of wildlife, a lot of nice turtles, uh, ducks to feed, fish jumping. It's a, it's a very cool spot. We got some geese that just came in about a week ago. Uh, about six, seven geese that they come here every year for about a month, hang out, and then continue on their journey. Um, it's a great spot if you're looking for something fun uh, to do, nice fresh air, good exercise. Uh, really, most of the people coming back say how peaceful it is to get out there on the lake. So these aren't your grandmother's pedal boats. They're very cool. Uh, they've just been out on the market for about maybe, uh, oh, I don't know, 10 years now. Uh, looks like a normal pontoon boat, uh, like you'd see out at the lake. Uh, except this one doesn't have a motor, you pedal it, and uh, they're very easy to pedal. Uh, again, they hold up to six people, maybe more if there's some kids involved. And uh, nice and quiet, and very easy to operate, and very safe. And uh, life jackets are supplied. As you can see, I got some chips and sodas, uh, snacks that go along with the deal. Over here, you gotta talk to this man, he knows everything about this place, so. <laughs> If you ever need any help, he'll help. He'll get you right. Okay, his name's Keith. <laughs> so that's the boat I'll be riding. Yeah. All right. All right. Welcome aboard. Yeah. Come grab a seat. Get comfortable. All right. Thank you, Keith. Can't yeah, thank you. And go. Pedal forward to go forward. Backward to go back. The steering wheel is going to take you left and right, just like a car. Important that you keep yourself 20 feet away from the sides of the lake so you avoid the rocks. 20 feet away from the fountains so you don't get wet, 20 feet away from any other boat traffic. Try not to oversteer it. In other words, when you feel that steering wheel stop in either direction, that is it. That's all it's going to turn. Don't wrestle with it. Don't force it. And never get too crazy on the pedals. Nice, slow, steady pace. Thank you, Keith. You're awesome, man. You're awesome. Drive around. Hope I don't crash into anything. It's going to be a fun ride. Right now, I stopped. 
because I'm in the center of everything. This is more challenging than I thought. I mean, I feel like uh, Scarface in that movie. It's all manual. Remember, no machine. Okay, it's all paddle. It's like uh, driving a bike. I feel like that movie, The Castaway, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> it's all survival over here. It's fun. I want to show you around, see what's going on in here. It's like having your own little yacht. Because I'm short, I have to uh, pedal this thing on the side. I can't do it in the center because I'm too short. But if you look at the other side, there's a little pedal over here. See that? I've been to Harborston three times, but it's my first time riding this thing. But it's a very different experience, whole different world out here. <laughs> Before I'm looking at them, now they're looking at me. <laughs> uh, bet you people are like laughing because I'm inexperienced with this uh, boat. Hey Corey and, uh, and John. <laughs> I wish you could see what I'm doing right now. I'm in the middle of the boat. <laughs> you always want to go crabbing, right? <laughs> this is a chance for me to do it. But you know what? There's no crab here. So I'm just going to try to get back to the destination where I'm supposed to get. I'm having an asthma attack right now. Too much exercise. I'm like Peter Pan right now. I'll take you to Neverland. You'll never get there. <laughs> don't be afraid to try new things, even though it's, you know, it's a little dangerous. But just don't hurt yourself. <laughs> when I was uh, younger, I didn't appreciate uh, experience because I didn't think that I was gonna get old some now I'm like in my 48 life is too short and you gotta live your life to the fullest and uh, while you're still here you have to go do good things in life